Islamist-led militants have attacked Iraq's biggest oil refinery with mortars and machine guns, reportedly attacking from two directions. Smoke billowed from a spare parts warehouse on the site at Beji, 210 kilometers, 130 miles, north of Baghdad, security and refinery sources told Reuters. Government forces have made new airstrikes on militants advancing towards the capital. Fighting is also reported in the western city of Ramadi. The government is fighting to push back ISIS, Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, and its Sunni Muslim allies in Diyala and Salahuddin provinces, after the militants overran the second city, Mosul, last week. Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki appeared on television with Sunni Muslim and Kurdish leaders on Tuesday to issue a call for national unity in the face of the advance. They demanded that non-state forces lay down their arms. However, such a call is unlikely to have much effect as Mr Maliki has openly sponsored the formation of Shia Muslim militias to fight alongside regular Iraqi troops, the BBC's Jim Muir reports from Erbil in northern Iraq. UK Prime Minister David Cameron will hold talks with his senior security advisers on Wednesday to discuss the crisis, warning that ISIS represents a real threat to Britain. The attack on the refinery started at 4 o'clock, 1 o'clock GMT, from outside two of the three main entrances to the refinery, according to Reuters. Militants destroyed some stores of oil after entering the complex, refinery staff told AFP news agency. Foreign personnel were evacuated earlier but local staff reportedly remain in place, with the military defending the facility. Militants in the western province of Anbar, where the capital is Ramadi, said they had made advances, with a number of police stations near the town of Hit going over to dissident tribes.